Took a while for the 11 o'clock update to come in and there are no changes here. As a matter of fact, barometric pressure, forward speed, all of that holds steady from some of the updates late last night. Has me scratching my head as I watch the satellite and that very slow approach. As you see, it has not made landfall in Cuba yet. Still 20 miles to the east southeast of Key Largo. Meanwhile, our temperatures will continue to climb. Locally, we're looking at widespread 80s. It'll feel like the 90s under the cloudy skies, showers and storms. So far, they have been a little slow to develop. Got a couple in northeast Florida and some that continue to propagate near Brunswick in southeast Georgia. But it's not going to stay that way, folks. Today's the day to get out and get things done because tomorrow rounds of inclement weather coming through and then the deteriorating weather really sets in around midnight Tuesday and that's what we'll wake up to on Wednesday throughout the morning and afternoon. Now, based on this new speed, it looks like uh, still during the morning hours, morning and afternoon will bring some of the worst of it when we're talking about Elsa on Wednesday. So we're looking at sunrise up through around midday. By the time John and the rest of the gang are in the studio taking you through the later half of the afternoon and evening, this will have already pushed into southeast Georgia and will continue to make tracks toward the Carolinas by late Wednesday, early Thursday morning. Thursday will bring some improvements here locally. We still have the chance for showers and storms that continues a little drier as we look ahead to the upcoming weekend. Stay ahead of the changes, the showers, the storms, and of course the tropics with our weather authority forecast. Always just a click away at News for Jacks, a shot away on your favorite devices.